Hello Scorpio, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look at current energies for the week of March 21st. Hope you're all doing well. Just keep in mind this is a general reading, so take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. As well as like to say massive thank you each one of you who watch my videos, like, subscribe and commented as this is a new channel. Your support means a lot. Okay, so the lead energy we have seven of swords. Okay, so we have quite the swords here. I would straight away say is something to do with your mind and thinking. Okay, when I see swords kind of taking over the reading, it's something that there is a, what is lacking is action. And what I could say is that seven swords usually would represent that someone is trying to um, um, play the, not the right cards or being quite deceitful. But it could be as well signified that um, the mind games is going on here as well. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Okay, so we have straight away three of swords and ten of swords. So three of swords usually reminds of, um, talks about uh, heartaches and um, heartbreaks. But here we have, it could be some, uh, some of you may be in a situation where you are um, having difficulty in relationship or love. And you feel like you are going to say enough is enough. But as well could be that you are contemplating a lot. You are thinking about things. And maybe that overthinking is stopping from taking any actions. Even talking. Maybe talking to the person. Okay. So in between we have a tower. Because tower has been built on unstable grounds. So is there miscommunication going on? As you can see there's no door. This is all in your it's Not in your head. But in one's head, in one's life. And sometimes the tower needs to fall. So you can build a new one. And it, what we need to learn from this card is. What are we learning from the lessons? Are we going to take note on the lessons? Why was that tower built on, on an unstable ground? Why we actually start to build. Real, even knowing that it wasn't stable. So it could be that this part is regarding your communication in your relationship okay but either side i have there's a great outcome comes out of it i definitely think the communication that the tower moment will bring in communication and you will gonna come to the point where you actually agree on things and you're gonna start a new chapter as we can see we have page of cups and three of cups okay so usually three of cups would be celebration uh, coming together with the family or so, but it could be as well commitment with a, a person. Okay, we we had the tower moment. Okay, we're gonna move on, and we're gonna communicate more. We're gonna listen to one another, and we're gonna uh, express what we think. We we're gonna put our show what our our boundaries. Each one of us we need to know that, and the communication is is big part in successful. Uh, relationship because this feels like it is something to do with a uh, relationship it could be either yes just with your uh, significant other or it could be even at work you know someone says oh I know I I thought you think that and I thought you like that how can you know if you don't talk but you never tell and so on so on you know so therefore this the sword kind of conflict is needs to be solved with communication and talking to one another okay what do we have for you, Scorpio? What do we have? If it resonates with you, you know what to do. Press like and subscribe. And comments, of course. Okay. Right. So you have... You know what you want. So there's no... Uh, it's not like sig significant kind of idea that you want to move away from this other person or situation but it's just you want to clear the air definitely because now we can see <clears throat> excuse me the intuition card is here so you might have felt that something wasn't right and it's for sure you know that's why we had the tower moment but look you're gonna still want to proceed with with this you want to perceive perceive with this um relationship or the project you want to go ahead with because well, i can start jumping right to the end because it's a, it has a great future. 
okay so some of you might decide no this is not for me and that's absolutely fine but this kind of kind of a you can see the wind is in sails it's kind of new beginning starts as well and meanwhile i'd like to um this card comes to me is that how you surround yourself who you surround yourself with is it good energies negative energies okay so is it people that charge you or drain you and because we have here the future card or the uh, crystal ball what do you see yourself how do you see yourself in this situation and be honest okay where do you see yourself in five years with this person or situation and maybe discuss this okay and definitely this this card here is just be mindful of who you share your information with because some people might not have the the best interests at heart okay so let's kind of clarify what we have for you scorpio okay so some of you might come to the point and say look um i tried my best and we are at the point where i'm saying goodbye or so but it even with that if you decide um leave this person in situation but even if you do decide to stay together gather the information what you learn from this so definitely probably was the communication and um uh, be honest to yourself and others because you are a light worker light worker means that you inspire others your actions definitely uh, other people watch and see and observe and take notice of it so look looks maybe quite challenging week but i know scorpio you're gonna do the best and you're gonna smash him thanks for watching thanks for being here and i'll see you next week bye bye